I'm James Amos, and I've been wondering, why the fuck can't we have rain barrels? Well, it seems like a simple thing, you know? Water falls out of the sky, it hits the roof, it flows down to the thing, it goes out on the lawn, I could intercept it in the barrel, everybody would be happy, right? No, not so much. Now, Colorado, like most states in the West, is dry. I mean, okay, I'm near a river, but most of it is dry, except for the parts right here, dry, like gargling with chalk dry. Because of that, water is a very precious thing. And the problem is that Colorado was not founded by people who wanted to have nice lawns and drink craft beer and hang out by rivers. It was founded by miners. Gold! Gold miners. Here's miner number one. Gold! Now he looks like a stick, but he's a miner. And he's found himself a river. And he knows there's gold right down here. So he decides to get down there and dig a ditch. Dig a ditch to run that water from here over to his gold box so he can mine some gold. The problem comes up when we bring miner number two. Gold! Who looks a little bit like another stick, but well, let's ignore that. Miner number two comes along and he sees this and thinks it's great, but there's already a ditch dug. So what does he do because he's a lousy son of a bitch? He goes upstream and he digs his own ditch and it's even bigger and he takes more water and that's when the gunfire breaks out. So how it settled that is this. In Colorado, we have what is known as the Prior Appropriation Doctrine, which sounds terribly sexy at parties. As you can imagine, it would. Chicks, oh my God. That means in Colorado, we are first in time, first in right, which means if you're the dude who dug the first ditch, you get that much water, as much water as you claimed and put to beneficial use. If you're the dude who shows up and digs the second ditch, you cannot dig the second ditch and take water from the guy from the first ditch, which, if you think about it as a gold miner, makes perfect sense. Where it doesn't make as much sense as if you're trying to do the rain barrel. Why is that? Because the water that would have come off of your roof actually would have gone to somebody else and you're kind of digging a ditch in front of somebody else who had a ditch already. So, you might say, I'm not taking much water. I'm just taking whatever happens to fall onto my roof, run down the downspout, get onto the lawn, and water my grass. Well, actually, that's a fair amount of water. That's 55 gallons in each barrel. They figure 600 gallons for the whole year. Multiply that by a million households. And all of a sudden you have a lot of water that was going to go across the lawn and go into the gutter and go down the street and out to the river to the next town whose people were gonna use it on their lawn and for their house. And now that's not gonna happen and they're gonna be pissed off. Now having one other town in Colorado pissed off that you may not seem like a big deal, but you need to look at it from the point of view of somebody who lives in another state like, oh say, Kansas or California or Arizona or any of the states that are downstream of Colorado and depend on our water that flows out of our state which is basically a lot of states they are gonna be very pissed off and other states have already been pissed off at us we already lost a lawsuit by Kansas who sued us because we took some water that should have flown to the river and we let people dig wells next to the river which also took water that should have gone to the river which should have gone to Kansas which wouldn't be a big deal except we already signed a contract with Kansas saying we wouldn't take any more water the same kind of contract that we've signed with all the other states so am I saying that the legislature are pointy head partisan or am I saying that we kind of made some agreements with these other states, let alone the other cities and stuff down the rivers, to not take more water than we're kind of already taking unless we do something like buy more water to make up for it, which we could do. Yeah, I guess I'm kind of saying that. On the other hand, does that mean that nobody should ever use rain barrels? Uh, I'm just saying that there's a reason, just like a lot of times there's a reason, although sometimes there is no reason, but other times there is an actual reason, and we don't like to hear that, and it certainly doesn't make it any fun to talk at parties, but there is kind of a reason, and if we're going to do the rain barrels, we need to weigh out, well, how much water are we taking, and who is that hurting downstream, and if there's a way to make it so it doesn't hurt them, well, that would be great. And actually, if you really want to be great about conserving water, then maybe we should start taking our treatment plants and making it so we drink the water that we're treating, which includes your pee and poop, and a lot of people don't want to do that. But guess what? There's only so much water. So, put that in your conservation pipe. I'm James Amos. Hey.